Hi there. I threatened to do a cooking video the other day, so I'm going to follow through on my threat and do a lemon and dill chicken. I'm going to go with it. We'll go to the wormies. So that'll get fried up first, then we'll throw those in. All the while the chicken's in the oven with the dill, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got broccoli to go in with this as well. But I always put broccoli in last, otherwise it goes all... Floppy. I like crunchy broccoli. So, and yes, I do natter a bit. Don't I, Maya? Yes, you do. But you've always been like that, so it doesn't really matter. You'll get used to it. I can see an edit there. Come on, put it in. Let me wash them. Thanks. So broccoli. And. Peas, beans, sorry. Got heaps of beans, got at least three meals worth of beans today, so. Um, well, I do like to change my mind a bit, so. Um, just show you. Chopped up the shallot greens for a bit of garnish. Um, I think I might end up doing the whole the whole dish as a stir fry and add the lemon and the dill and the garlic straight in with the um, chicken and through the wok so I like cooking in the hot wok to that our lemon Right, yeah, that's the juice of one lemon. And now for some garlic. Unfortunately, that noise you can hear in the bread background is a bread maker going off, so sorry about that. Um, unfortunately, we're still growing our garlic, so I've got to rely on the jar. Variety still, so what's that about a dessert spoon of garlic? all around. Now all this can just be mixed together. Righty yeah. We've pulled the beetroot out and it's just sweating. Just let me fire this up. And it is now time just balance this on the bread maker if you hear a bang and everything goes black. Anyway, just putting in the chicken now. Just fry this off. It's not really a high high temperature fry like a traditional Chinese dish, but it's just bigger than the fry pan for everything I want to cook. So. Add some extra marinade. Just letting them take the chicken out for a tick. Just to get the veggies going. Bit of oil. Off for the kohlrabi. Sure. Add the zucchini eggplant. Capsicum. Oh, thank you, Bianca. Capsicum. This is going to take a little while to do. Might look at that and I might just add a smidgen more oil. Big plant sucks up a lot of it. Just 
adding some of the liquid in just to help it steam a bit. Also, as soon as we can, in the egg plant, we'll soak it up as well. Oh, yeah, just add in the beans, broccoli, and the chicken back in. All the juices will go with it. Just adding in a bit of water to help it steam a bit. And hopefully the idea is the dill and the garlic will coat all the vegetables. It'll be sucked up by the zucchini and the eggplant. Now put my trusty wok lid on it. A little moisture. There we go. Hey, Maya. No problem. And there we have it. Oops. And the beetroot. To go with it. So, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Bianca, your opinion? Hot. 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 Nice. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Um, having to peel the beetroot because I try to be different and roast them in a tray. Bianca wraps them in foil and they sweat afterwards. And they turn out a lot nicer than what I do. These will so be nice. They'll be nice, but just anyway. Peeled. Yes. So that's it. Sprinkled liberally with shallots because this is mine. Green shallots. I don't know what you call them in America. If you're viewing from America or Europe, but we call them shallots. Um, yep. Spring onions. Spring onions. So that's it. That's my first cooking video. Um, the camera had to be changed halfway through due to dud battery in the small new one. So I hope you enjoy and I'll do some more if you like it. Have a good one.